honestly, a lot can happen in just a couple of days. Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning, YouTube. So, I'm off today, leaving Cabana Tawan and going to a place called Baller, which is apparently the surfing capital of the Philippines. So, off I go. So, in case you're interested, this is my hotel. Nothing fancy. It's 20 bucks a night, which is my budget. So, it's okay. My place was actually more like a little apartment building that they rented out individual rooms. And yeah, it was fine. There were some other people living there, but it was quiet. It was no big deal. Yeah, I'll admit my whole area was pretty dodgy. Dirt roads and mud puddles everywhere, dodging in and out, but you know, that's what you get when you're paying 20 bucks a night, even in the Philippines. There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall Time to get some gas before we start heading over the mountains. breakfast at this shop cute little shop right here on the road 
Maybe we're kind of on top of the hill. I'm not sure. So as you may recall, this was my proposed route, which should have taken about three and a half hours. But not long after I left that restaurant, my camera stopped working and I didn't know what to do. So I stopped. It was hilly and my kickstand didn't work very well. Motorcycle fell down. And now I have a broken rear view mirror. Well, that's really annoying. And just a few minutes later, guess what happens? My rear tire blows out, fantastic. So now, because there's no shop nearby, I have to drive 15 kilometers nine miles on a flat tire and when I get to the shop wow they don't have a tire to fit my motorcycle so I have to take a little tricycle another 15 kilometers to another shop and then back with the tire okay but the good news is they can finally fix it And after a delay of about three hours, I'm finally on my way. So this tree is called the Millennium Tree and it's a ballet tree. Supposedly the biggest one in Asia. It's 65 meters around and apparently about 600 years old. So yeah, it's a pretty cool looking tree. Okay, I've got you on video too. <laughs> so as you remember, this is my proposed map according to Google Maps that's supposed to take me to Baller Beach. Well, okay, it did take me to what, Baller Beach, but I was like, where the heck's the beach? So I'm driving my motorcycle in this gravel and I'm literally getting stuck. I mean, I'm sinking in the gravel and I'm almost stuck there. I have to get off my motorcycle and push it. And I'm like, what the heck? Is this supposed to be this famous surfing beach? Because it doesn't look like a surfing beach to me. In fact, I don't see anyone surfing and the beach kind of sucks. It's all rocks. So what's going on? So I asked some of the local people who were hanging on the beach and they said, you don't want to go to Baller Beach, you want to go to Sabang Beach. So this is Baller Beach. It's supposed to be really famous for surfing, but no waves today, so. A little bit of surfing over there. So this is a popular place for people in the Philippines to come and learn how to surf. For about nine dollars an hour you can have a private instructor and a board. Five thousand five hundred pesos per hour. So the lady who rented me my room told me about this restaurant called Yellow Fin. So I showed up and met these cool people. <laughs> so I met Jonas, JP, Parm, and Janelle, and also Jing. They're a family on holiday from Laguna. Guess what? We just bumped into Bruce. <laughs> Manila, I mean, uh, 
So the next morning I found this cool little coffee shop, nice little place with a lot of cool people there. So it doesn't take you long in the Philippines to realize that there are a lot of people named Marie. Like this gay girl is named Marie Chicklet, and people call her <laughs> Chicklet because her sister is also named Marie. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? And here's another Marie. This girl was pretty interesting because she was planning to go to medical school until she started working in hospitals and realized she really didn't like it. So she ended up becoming a surf photographer and is pretty successful. And her photography is pretty cool, so check out her Instagram page. So, um, yeah, they have a very good internet here. They have really good coffee. A lot of local people hang out here all the yeah, time. Yeah. Like well, most, most local surfers go here. Remember my friends from Yellowfin Restaurant? Well, they suggested I go visit a place called Mother Falls. So when I got to Mother Falls, I met these two girls, Mika and Julia, who are both students and going up to the falls too. And it was helpful that I met them because I didn't have any cash and they wouldn't accept G-Cash. So we decided to go up together and I share a guide. But what the heck? These girls were both wearing sandals, and Mika looked like she was about ready to go to a club with that dress. And this was a tough hike. It's not any Silver Creek Falls paved roads. This was a one-hour trek, climbing over boulders and walking through running water. And then it hit me. One of Mika's hobbies must be Adventure hiking in questionable attire. But despite the shoes and the clothes, Julia and Mika both made it up to the waterfall, no problem at all. One hour up, one hour back. So after the hike, they told me to meet them that night at a place called Kidya. And man, was that place wild. There were a lot of people and they were all having a lot of fun. That's where I discovered Mika's second apparent hobby, which is dancing on furniture, which she was actually pretty good at. But a few minutes later, she showed that her third hobby was getting into bar fights. So I thought, first, it's a good time for me to leave, and also, her career as a policewoman will probably come in handy, keeping her out of trouble. But it was an interesting couple of days and I realized it was time to move on to my next location, Santiago. So the next morning I woke up early and headed off on the road again. So join me on this adventure. Let's go. <laughs>